What's up, YouTube? It's Andy's Fun Adventures, and today I'm coming back to another video. And today we are making fruited candy. Candied fruit. Candied fruit. Hey, you guys, it's Andy's mom. My name is Paris, and as Andy told you guys, we are back today with another banger. banger. So, yes, um, you've been gone for a while. Are you gonna tell the people, you know, I've been gone for a while. Because we messed up on a little bit of videos. But today we're going to make sure we do this video right. Yeah, because we didn't have enough footage for the last vlog that we was going to put up. So, yeah, that's pretty much what Andy is talking about. So, so we are very excited. We are back, guys. It's Andy's from Adventure. So, we have strawberries, grapes, and mango. And tell them what are all the products that we need. Let we see. need. What? So we need fruit, fruit, of course. We need um sticks. Yes, we got the sticks too. That's what Andy is talking about. We need light corn syrup. Well, we don't. You don't have to use light corn corn syrup, but we're we gonna be using um light corn syrup. Yeah, you need corn syrup and you need sugar and water. Okay, so. First, we're gonna take, you need actually two cups of sugar. So pour that, we're gonna pour it into this pot, pour it in that, in that pot, Amy. You know, little flick it sometimes. Okay. My mom is pouring the next sugar in the cup, as you can see. That's a lot of sugar. You gotta make sure it's filled to the top. Look, the last one is really filled to the top. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And that's how it looks right now. You switch sugar. Okay, and then this is the one fourth cup of water. Pour that in there. <laughs> the, like, doesn't it look like ice? Huh? Come up it here. looks like ice. Don't you see it? Like inside of there, it looks like ice. Yeah, it do. Okay, so I am now here. Yeah. I. Oof. It's like kind of like glue. How it was in my slime video. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make sure all of that gets in there. Corn syrup is like very sticky, so you just have to be careful with that. So it's supposed to go up to 150. No, first you have to stir it up. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, Big Andy. Okay, so the video that we were watching, the lady did specify that it's good to do this step first. Um instead of waiting till it heats up. Boil it, cause it has to get to 150 degrees. So it takes about 12 and a half minutes for that to happen on high. Um, so we're just gonna be playing the waiting game. Then we'll be back when it is to a boil, when it comes to a boil. I to start over because like, it didn't really turn out how it was supposed to do it. Um, we watched this lady's video and she basically was just telling us to um, let it, what she said i think she said let it cook for about 12 minutes because she even had her timer on on her video but see she had one of the uh thermometer things excuse me to put inside of her pot so she could see how um how long it, it takes to get to 150 degrees but see i like i said before i have a gas stove so because it took her 12 minutes it only took mine maybe five to six minutes not even that to get hot so now me and andy we are over here looking at it we're we're actually like really monitoring it now because see the first time we did watch it back up Andy. we watched it come to a boil but yeah it burned like it we had to lose like a whole nother pot as you guys can see this is like one of my favorite pots, so I'm kind of mad I'm even using this. But yeah, so 
And that's what we are doing right now. Letting it come to a boil and Andy is just over here ready to eat, right? Subscribe, like, and comment. Don't. Okay, so basically it has now came to a boil and I believe it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn off of my stove and then we got the we have to hurry up and dip these really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna just stick this in here. Looks like cornmeal. <laughs> Put it right there. <laughs> Ready, huh?